Okay, so this is just a super quick video. Uh, no progress yet, sadly. Uh, all I need is an inverter and I still don't know how to build one. And buying an IC is just not an option. They're way too expensive. 10 bucks for a piece? No, no. Okay, so what I just did was go through things in my room. And this is from, I don't know, many, many years ago. And I put a red, lot of random stuff in here. Um, when I opened it, it didn't make a sound yet. So... Um, but I looked at the at the inside of the um, of the lid, and there was like a little piece of plastic there and something that looked like a speaker. So I was thinking, well, that should play music, right? But yeah, it it was well closed in the um, uh, in my cupboard for yeah I don't know ten fifteen years maybe more, and so yeah I opened it and it didn't play a sound yet. But after a few seconds, it started, and I'm going to show you this. Hope, oh, come on. Look. You, you hearing this? <laughs> it's making super weird noises. Um, but yeah, it's kind of working. After I don't know how many years. And yeah, I guess I will just take this out and <laughs> apply some proper voltage to it because this is horrible. Well, it's getting better and better. Um, but yeah, you see this tiny coin cell here held like many many years. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put some proper voltage on there and then we will hear the song. <laughs> Okay, uh, I got it, I guess, so I got it back in the uh, in the case because it's louder that way. Let's listen. And that's it. <laughs> that's the song that's saved on that tiny little chip. Let's hope the leads don't collide. Okay, so yeah, let me take that out again for a second. Come on. Because it's interesting that you can see, um, well, if you can see in, on this camera, the back side uh, of the chip. You see, it's a six pin package. Um, you get on the left, <laughs> wait a minute, okay, so we have the outputs on the right side, we don't have anything else here, okay, so on the left side, we have from the bottom to the top, uh, what's that, okay, bottom, negative, middle, positive, uh, the upper part, uh, top left is the light dependent resistor <laughs> and on the right we have uh, the top two are for the speaker or piezo crystal some something yeah very interesting circuit that survived yeah 10 to 15 years on such a tiny coin cell <coughs> pretty impressive because this thing is old as you see there's like tons of paper stuff in there that I collected as a kid so yeah it must be 15 years or maybe even more I tried to find a date on the outside of the can but there was nothing like no best before date it said look at the label or at the bottom or at the bottom um, yes you see on the bottom there's nothing best before end look label or bottom yeah this this is the the bottom and the label is obviously gone, that maybe held it close together. So yeah, that's just a <laughs> short thing I wanted to show because I like low power circuits and I like that you can survive that long um, on a coin cell. I mean, what 
need so far. I should actually measure the voltage of this coin cell. So can you see and read back here? Um, I'm gonna use <laughs> this as a voltage meter again. Um, okay, so positive on here. So it isn't reading yet, that's just the residual voltage. Okay, I'm trying to. <laughs> oh god, this is horrible. Maybe this way. You can't see me measuring, so I'm just gonna. Well, it's uh, still 1.3 volts, which is what I actually um, dro drove it with. So, yeah, there's still voltage on that cell. Um, well, just barely enough power to drive the circuit, but it's funny that it started to wake up the longer you pull power from it. But yeah, that's really interesting. <coughs> so. Yeah, what am I going to do with this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it in that box forever till I come uh, over it again and be amazed. Also, it was, um, well, not really welded shut, but, I don't know, glued or something. Maybe it was actually ultrasonically welded together. I don't know. I had a hard time getting it apart. But yeah, this is, well low maintenance no not low maintenance low cost solution to making a beeping circuit in that thing and it also says the song name on this label here which in german is stille nacht but i don't know what it's in english so yeah, you get to live with that and you heard the song maybe you even know it so yeah for this i said i need to build an inverter the circuit that i need for it is under my last video i guess I put up a schematic and basically I need something that's <clears throat> inverting between those two. Don't ask me how it works. I, I fucking hate such circuits that <laughs> use some strange quirks of whatever to uh, drive things. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically I need an inverter between those two and as it is a capacitive load it probably tries to switch back and forth as soon as it's uh, fully um, charged which is hopefully it's resonant frequency um, yeah we will see if that works and I guess I will use an inversion circuit and pipe the signal into here maybe I guess yeah but I will use that for switching uh, because that's basically what I need an inverter um <clears throat> so yeah because that's also something i didn't know or just didn't think about this thing is not like a speaker um because i thought oh yeah it's getting hot it's pulling a lot of amps no this thing is actually like a capacitor um such as this thing so it is just charged and discharged which creates the um change in size um, so yeah, now I know, hey, it's just a capacitor basically, so what I need is peak um, power and not like prolonged power for like longer times. So yeah, switching speed is everything, yay, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's fucking hot, I mean even here in the basement I'm sweating because I just have been <laughs> in, the, uh, in the house above for, I don't know, the whole day and it's hot. I'm dying of heat, but it's gonna cool down soon, so... Yeah, I hope I can continue work on things like this in the future. Because there's just so much shit to do, and it's so hot that I just <laughs> can't finish anything of it. Okay, bye-bye.